dear students welcome once again to army public school pma resource network i am your math teacher godatran ashraf before we are going to start today's subject mathematics please subscribe this page and click on bell icon dear students this is your week 12 assignments in which we will discuss the uh, chapter number 9 which is length and the topic of length is finding the lengths of objects now i am going to share the objective with you at the end you will be able to measure the length of longer objects by using the smaller objects now we will uh, use non standard units for measuring length of the objects we use small objects for measuring long objects for example we use paper clip squares pencils markers crayons and many other small things to measure the length of long things look at the screen students here are the paper clips which we will use to measure the length of long objects this is pencil crayons and squares now one by one we use these all things to measure the length length of long objects for example we use one paper clip to show one unit we use one square box to show one unit same like these objects we use many others to show one unit like a pencil an arrow and many others shapes let's learn how we measure the length of long objects by using the small objects for example here is one pencil and we measure the length of this pencil by using the paper clips 1 2 3 and 4 this pencil is equal to 4 paper clips the length of pencil is 4 pens long now we measure the length of book 1 2 3 4 5 there are five squares so the length of book is five square units now we measure the length of sofa and by using foot prints we will measure the length of the sofa 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 the length of the sofa is 12 feet long now students we measure the length of this scissor by using these arrows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the length of scissor is 8 arrow units now i am going to share the success criteria with you remember to measure length of longer objects by using the smaller objects now the written task of your week 12 is practice question a and b textbook page number 103 practice question 12 textbook page number 106 and 107 and worksheet 2a practice workbook page 89 to 92 Now we will going to start our week 13 assignment in which we will discuss the chapter number 10 numbers to 40 and chapter number 15 numbers to 100 and the topics are counting to 40 and to 100 and place value objective students will be able to count up to 40 count up to 100 learn the place value make the groups of 10 now counting to 40 and to 100 i explain this topic with some examples here is a group of 10 and there are two groups of 10 so it becomes 20 and here are ones how many ones are there 1 2 and 3 there are two tens and three ones so the number becomes 20 plus 3 is equals to 
In this example, you can see there are three groups of 10. 1 10, 2 10, 3 tens. There are three tens. And how many ones are on the screen? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are 5 ones. So the number becomes 35 in which there are 3 tens and 5 ones. Now in this example, how many tens are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 tens. And how many ones are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 ones. So the number becomes 57. 5 tens, 7 ones. It becomes 57. And 57 is equal to 50 plus 7. Now one more example for you students. There are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 tens. And how many ones are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 ones are there. So the number becomes 45. Some more examples. 1, 5, 15. 7, 4. 74 means... 7 tens, 4 ones. In 42, there are 4 tens and 2 ones. Now, I explain the next topic place value. In 57, the place value of 5 is tens, and the place value of 7 is ones. These stands for tens. All stands for ones. In this example, there are three tens and two ones. So the place value of three is tens, and the place value of two is ones. In seventeen, the place value of one is ten, and the seven is ones. Now the written task of you this week is practice question 1 to 4, textbook page number 168, practice question 1 and question 2, textbook page number 170, worksheet 2, practice workbook page 103 to 105, worksheet number 1, practice workbook page 143 to 145, worksheet number 2, Question 2 and 3. Practice workbook page 147 and 148. Thank you students and Allah Hafiz.